Hello guys, what is up? It is your boy Scuff here bringing you the video that you guys have been waiting for a few, day a few days now about how to hide your rat. Now, last video I taught you how to make a rat with Dark Comet. Now, Dark Comet is a uh, rat making tool. And, uh, yeah, so, as, so if you guys go follow that tutorial over there, you'll see how to do it. Um, there's going to be like a huge like RAR file with all the tools and stuff. Um... I'm not gonna rat you. Here's the tools themselves. Um, you got the debug assembly tool, and these are all from the same guy. I want to give a shout out to uh, I can't really Clyder. Thanks, man, for all the cool tools that you've been making lately. Uh, I really been really been helping me make my rats and stuff, man. Uh, you've been a cool guy. All right, so now as you can tell, I I'm gonna quick make remake my rat just so I start fresh. Um, we're gonna be using a website decrypted today. If you don't know what crypting is, crypting is practically saying, okay, well, I'm going to, um, I'm going to, like, put on my desktop. Um, uh, it's practically saying that you're going to hide the rat, and it's not, it's, it's you're going to still have, pe you're still going to have pe uh, things picking it up. Uh, anyways, it's going to still pick up stuff. So here's our raw, here's our raw uh, stub right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come, we're not going to use that because that's not, that's not good. Um, now we're going to come in here and we're going to log in. Oops, wrong information guys, hold on. There we go. Alright, so now I'm logged in, we're going to go to upload files. No, 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 first, first, before I do that, we're going to go to meta, meta, scan, hyphen, online.com. We're going to test the raw stub and see what happens. Now you always gotta test it, make sure that you know what what uh what the uh cryptor takes out. So we're just gonna upload this stub real quick. It's stubraw.exe. Alright, so now it's in Q for number two. I'm gonna close out this because this is actually really bad, the crypt that cryptor right there. Not this on this uh that we'll be using a web cryptor, which is it it's 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 okay for what it is, to be honest. And okay, guys, 30, 37, 37 out of, yeah, that's that's crazy. Look at look at these scrub ones. They don't even detect it, and it's a freaking raw one. Look at look how many viruses it says it has, guys. That's crazy. All right, so now we're gonna go to uh, www.msil.pw. You're gonna sign up. Don't need to activate your email. Uh, so then we're gonna go. We're gonna hover. We're gonna click this My Files, and we're gonna go Upload Files. Now we're gonna click this little middle box, and then we're gonna go to Stub Raw. Uh, actually, I'm gonna copy it, paste it. Now I'm gonna copy that, upload it. It's gonna take a second. Now we're gonna go to Crypt, and now we're gonna. Uh, yeah, it's good. I tried. I was trying it earlier, and it, it worked pretty good. So we're gonna go free, and we're just gonna click finish. Next, 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 finish. Oh, I agree with terms and service. Finish. All right. So now that we have that, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna download it. As long as you don't open it, you cannot infect yourself. Now, these are where these programs come involved: debug assembly editor and icon changer. Now, I have this big old hack pack of full of icons and stuff. But first you're going to need to select your uh you need to select your uh thing. So, we're going to look for skid stub uh stub copy and we're going to we're going to change the icon. We're going to change the icon to one of my one of the things in my hack pack. Which, so, I think go to uh, lots of icons and I think we're just going to do a meet uh we're going to like I did before, we're gonna do internet icons. Let's do Firefox. All right, because a lot of people do use Firefox. I'm just gonna use this for example. Now we change the icon, right? Now if we now if we open, if we go to Control J, and we open this, show in folder. Not open that, but show in folder. And now as you can see, it has a new icon. New icon. Now if we go to Assembly Editor, this is really important because if you go to Properties on this. It's gonna say a whole bunch of random stuff. You don't want it to say that because it's gonna there it's gonna alert them. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to assembly editor and you're gonna go to where you have your stub, which mine is in the downloads, I don't know where yours saves to. And here it is, we're gonna open it 
and now we're just gonna name it uh just come up with something like i don't know game like it's my game or something it's just my game uh 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 tony's no 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 because i don't want to put my real name because in case it does write people so we're just gonna put s game gaming gaming co games i don't know uh gaming gaming play shooter shooter for the description and then gaming, gaming co sh productions sounds legit. Productions product game copyright 2015 trademark GCGCP because you know random save. Now it's gonna give you this error. Just continue. Now if we come back to properties on this. It should say we will go to details and it has changed. Now, we're going to rename it. We're going to, uh, I'm going to move it to my desktop here. And uh, so it's on my other screen right now. So let me minimize all my tabs and bring it back over here. Now, as you can see, we have my stub again. Now, we're going to rename this to game or something like that. Just to make it look legit or whatever or whatnot. You can change the icon, you can you can do whatever you want, just make it sound legit. Now if we come back to Opera and uh scan the scan a new file. User joined your channel. Sorry about that. Disconnected. Uh yeah. Sorry about that guys. Um we're gonna go to uh stub stub copy is it? No game. You can name it game. Okay, now we're gonna upload it. Okay, it's in. It's always in Q2. Looks like we're about to get about 11, maybe. Maybe 12. 13. Okay, 13. So it gave it an X, but um, Microsoft did pick it up. But anyways, it went from it went from 30 to 13. So that's really good. Just gotta tell people to disable their firewall. I will be coming out with, uh, I don't know what the next video is, but it'll be something. It'll be something special on maybe how to spread a rat or something like that. Um, so, guys, thank you guys for watching. I hope this helped you a lot. And if you guys didn't, like, this did help you get some slaves, then make sure you leave a like. And if you got any questions or you need help, I'm always free. Um, you can message me on Skype, st.exe, or you can uh, go in the comments section. Or p comment se section, yeah, and just ask questions, and maybe other people can answer for you if I'm not there to help you. So thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you next time.